Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back for episode 12. Today we are going to play Bournemouth. Now I did say in the last episode we're going to come back to the Arsenal game and I did actually just record the, that game which we lost three as you can see on the screen. However, if we quickly run over to the league table now, we can see us, me and, us and Bournemouth are level on points, separated by only goal difference. So I felt it would be a more appropriate recording to do, do this game as an episode instead. Go and now leave us with two games left in the league, fighting out for that seventh and sixth Europa League spots. Um, below us, Stoke, seven points behind. I don't think they're going to be catching us up. United are only two points clear of us and Bournemouth. I think it's basically it's, it's a race base essentially between us, Bournemouth, and Manchester United for those sixth and seventh positions. Since we last here, we played Serena, we won 3 0. However, we have now lost two games in a row after going 12 games unbeaten in all competitions. We lost to May United 1-0, then lost to Arsenal 3-0. So there we played Bournemouth. Hopefully we can get a win and get back onto form before we play AC Milan at home in the first leg of the Europa League semi-final. Let's get straight into the game. Starting for us today in goal is Freddie Woodman. Along the back floor we have Empis, Davies, Bournemouth and Castagni with Flynn Downs as the half-back on the fend. Andre Dezel and Herbie Kane sitting in the field with Proper as the attacking midfielder. Guitar and Flamy up front. First highlight of the game goes to us from the left. Davies takes Joshua King now with possession for Bournemouth, racing forward. He's got pace here. Down a great tackle, and Castagni's going to pick up the loose possession in the right hand, deep in town half from the round side. Whips it clear as far as Flamy can win the header he can, but to no avail as Medel has the ball now back to Pavlenka. Pavlenka boots it forward. Davies wins the header. La Celso in. Dazel wins the header back. Medel. Out wide to Costa, Costa, out wide right to Nathaniel Klein. Racing forward, of course, starts the game with Liverpool, whips it in, Callum Wilson's there, and Bournemouth take the all important lead in this big, big tie as we, the race for the Europa League is starting to heat up now, and Bournemouth have just dealt the first blow in this match today. Next highlight, five minutes to the first half remain. Davies brings the ball out of the fence. Come on, town, Dazelle. To proper, proper back to Z back to Dizel, Dizel to Herbie Kane, out left to Empis. Come on, Empis comes forward, back to Downs. Patient build up here, Downs to Dizel, to Dirk Proper, Herbie Kane, out wide right to Castagni. Can he put the ball in? He can. Javi Guitar, get in there. Javi Guitar, 16th goal of the season. We have equalised 1-1 here at Portman Road against Bournemouth. Come on, you blues, we've got to push on from this now. Half time is 1 1. That jabbing tight equaliser has put us in a good position going into the second half, but we need to keep on pressuring Bournemouth into making more mistakes. First title of the second half, because Stagney with the throw on the right, Falami inside the area, back to Harry Kane, Downs on the edge, inside to Dirk Proper, comes back to Zell. <sighs> the referee says play on, Dirk Proper, Kane, out left to Empis. Empis puts the ball back post. Falami's been taken down. Referee points towards the spot. And that is going to be a penalty kick for Lamy to take. Then Falami scored the last two penalties in recent matches. Can he score a third here? Then Falami, top corner, doesn't fail. Puts town 2 1 up. That's his 30th goal of the year. Ben Falami, number nine. Uh, not in shining armour on this save. Still very, very young. Got a long way to go. Bournemouth now, next highlight, throw on the right, and Fanny Klein takes, but intercepted by Towns, a Zelda, Herbie Kane on Russian, Herbie Kane on the edge, oh, he smashes that at the, at the goal, but it goes over the bar, stays 2-1, next highlight, Dazel to take the corner, puts it in, Davies approaching, Ben Davies gets there, and makes it 3-1, it didn't look like Ben Davies got the touch, if I'm honest, it looked like a half the Bournemouth defender, however, it has been given to Ben Davies, so he must have done, 3-1 dip switch now, and it looks like this game should be settled. We're going to go cautious for the last five minutes. We've still made no subs yet. Get a last shout in. Three minutes of extra time remain. Is this going to be the last highlight? Nathaniel Klein on the right to Penaranda. Penaranda comes inside. The referee blows his whistle. He's seen enough. And we have got a very, very, very important 3 1 victory here today. Come on! That result leaves us three points clear of Bournemouth now. Two behind Man United still with two games remaining that is in our hands. Final two games of the season come against Watford who are 11th and Stoke who are 9th. So two mid-table teams that so won't be an easy run in but certainly we will be expecting to win those two games 
and finish in the Europa League for the second season on the trot. Our next episode will be episode 13 and we'll come back to the second leg against AC Milan. Hopefully we can go into that second leg with a decent result in the first leg, which we've got next. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the second leg of the Europa League semi-final, Ipswich Town versus AC Milan. Cheers, guys. See you later.